Welcome back everybody to my Conor McGregor vs Jorge Masvidal breakdown series. In episode 1 we talked about how Conor McGregor could defeat Jorge Masvidal. So in episode 2 let's talk about the opposite. How Jorge Masvidal could defeat Conor McGregor. In the final installment of this series I will do the ultimate breakdown on this fight where I will talk about everything that I didn't talk about in this episode and then at the end of that video I will tell you guys who I believe would win in that matchup. So with that being said let's jump right into the video. Jorge Masvidal in my opinion is stylistically going to be the most complete and toughest matchup for Conor McGregor. Overall, Jorge Masvidal is well-rounded, he can do everything very well. He is a fighter who doesn't really excel in speed or power, but where he does excel in is just fight IQ and the ability to adapt in whatever situation he finds himself in. And because of these reasons, it is very hard for Jorge Masvidal to get completely defeated, you know, knocked down, finished, things of that nature. He's a very hard guy to completely outsmart and get a very clean victory over. So for Conor McGregor, I believe this will also be a very huge obstacle for him to overcome. Now Jorge Masvidal in general, where I believe he is very good at is his traditional boxing. Overall, he is a very great boxer, I would have to say. Arguably the best boxer, pure boxer in the division. And why this is problematic for Conor McGregor is because Conor McGregor, he is a fighter who likes to come forward and predominantly use his boxing to neutralize the opponent. For example, he comes forward with a pretty wide guard. He's very good at neutralizing the opponent's jab hand. And when he does this, he makes them very gun shy and it really makes them feel boxed in and really claustrophobic. And because of this, a lot of mistakes are made from the opponents. Now, when you take a look at Horian Masvidal, the first thing that will be a huge problem for Conor McGregor is the fact that if Conor McGregor comes forward, Horian Masvidal will not really be there in front of him waiting. Masvidal has great footwork. Because of this footwork, his movement, his lateral movement will always be something that Conor McGregor will have to keep in mind. We saw against Habib Nurmagomedov, Habib rarely stood still. He was always moving around, always light on his feet, moving laterally, and never really being a stationary target for Conor McGregor to go in there and, you know, read him and then try to set him up with something because Conor McGregor was always looking to let him first stand still and then fire big shots. Because of this, Conor McGregor was really overshooting his shots. He was being very impatient. We obviously can tell that in the fight against Habib, he, he wasn't really very focused, like he didn't really have that razor sharpness, so maybe that really magnified that vulnerability in his game, because in general, I would have to say Conor McGregor is a pretty patient fighter. However though, this still does not take away from the fact that the way Conor McGregor will have to deal with Jorge Masvidal will not be too ideal because of his movement. The movement of Masvidal will be enough in my opinion to keep himself out of harm's way for the majority of the first flurry or the opening um, storm that may come at him because we know that Conor McGregor he starts out pretty fast and when he starts out fast McGregor instantly goes on the offense he's not a fighter who waits around and one of the biggest tools that McGregor likes to depend on is him being able to take away the opponent's jab by really having that wide stance karate bladed stance to power out his own lead hand he usually has a very long reach right compared to his opponents he's always going to be in that advantage against Masvidal you know they only slightly differ so it's not really going to be that big of a difference however though Conor McGregor still has I believe one inch of a reach advantage over Masvidal but like I said it's not really going to be coming down to that one inch or two. What it really will come down to is where Masvidal will present himself because as soon as the fight starts off in his last three fights Masvidal has shown that he will immediately rush forward and you know pick up the pace just really break the rhythm and against Conor McGregor I believe he will do exactly the same thing because Conor McGregor will come out of the gate fast and knowing this or in Masvidal will probably do the same thing in the very first round. I don't know if he's going to do it in the second third fourth fifth round just you know past the first round like he did against Nate Diaz he started off fast he at least faked it he didn't commit to a you know big assault from the opening of the round because in the second round he stopped doing it in the third you know things of that nature he didn't do that one like more than one time so I guess Conor McGregor perhaps he will do it more than one time which I believe he should because Conor McGregor will immediately come after you so if you can make Conor McGregor respect your game and not immediately go after you I think that is going to be a lot more favorable for Jorge Masvidal because then the tension and the rhythm and the pace will be halted and that's where Jorge Masvidal completely shines because Masvidal is very good at that medium to close range where you can box your head off and he will do that he's very good at moving around and really 
really just setting that big overhand hooking type of shot he landed this on Nate Diaz a couple of times he knocked Darren Till out with this and because of that alone in that medium to long range in that pure boxing range alone he's a very dangerous fighter but what really makes him dangerous it's not the fact that he can do that in the medium to calm range where everything is settled down no what really is the most important and I believe impressive part of his game is the ability to do this on the back foot we know McGregor is an offensive minded fighter he will come forward however though Jorge Masvidal he shines on the back foot most of his big blows came off of the back foot against Darren Till he was catching Darren Till just by slipping his big telegraph left hand he slipped it boom boom big counters against Nate Diaz he did the same thing he just come like he just made Nate Diaz come into his range where he can essentially walk into a big counter by doing this he just demands the respect of his opponents and from there the pressure of the opponent starts to dwindle they're less confident in that pressure and as soon as he can break that confidence then the setup of the opponent starts to begin then he starts to completely just chop down the opponent and then set him up for that big knockout punch because we've seen that right now in this stage of his career Masvidal is just looking to immediately end the fight he's not really looking to jab and move around as he did kind of early on in his career for example against Ross Pearson he did that for the opening of the majority of the fight but recently every punch that he lands with mean intentions so I believe Conor McGregor as he's coming forward not only will he fight a fighter who prefers to get pressured not only that he's tremendous with his head movement he has tremendous footwork and with those three things combined I think Conor McGregor is going to have a very poor first round that is what I believe against uh, Jorge Masada what will happen if he can really get the range down if he cannot really take care of Jorge Masvidal's jab because Masvidal is a pretty jab heavy fighter and usually when Conor McGregor fights these types of opponents he can get rid of the jab by having you know a, a better jab placement and he can win the battle of the jab placements and you know do this and usually they kind of dwindle but because Jorge Masvidal has his footwork and head movement to pair this up with I think in general he's not going to have that much of a problem even though I believe Jorge Masvidal's jab will not be there but as Conor McGregor comes forward as well he doesn't really have to depend on the jab too much because he can really just set the range by you know hooking for example right just slipping and hooking and like he did against Darren Till so I don't think the jab is going to be too much of a priority when he's getting backed up anyway so if he can make Conor McGregor break the pressure and start to calm down a little bit then he can start to settle his jab in and from there Masvidal can have a pretty good clinical matchup with Conor McGregor and as soon as the fight finds itself at that pace at that range we then can look at Masvidal and what he can really do well he's tremendous at going to the body he has a very hard body kick I believe Conor McGregor hasn't really been kicked to the body all too much and I don't really believe Conor McGregor fought somebody with the threat of that type of an arsenal like body kick arsenal because of the fact that he, when he just pressures the opponents they're just worried about keeping the distance and when they kick they plant their feet and thus making Conor McGregor come in on them pretty pretty much easier and this really means that if you kick you risk losing your footing and when you lose your footing Conor McGregor is going to pin you against the cage and start breaking you down however against Masvidal he has fought plenty of southpaws and Nate Diaz and Darren Till and we've seen that he can deal well against them without a problem and I believe Conor McGregor if he finds himself in that medium range I think Jorge Masvidal will be a very very tough guy to handle with his movements slightly you know with his lateral movement his body shots his in and out shots his his, his stance switching and then loading up on the left hand as he knocked out Darren Till for example he's a very tricky guy he can also momentarily go to southpaw so we'll see how that switching of into southpaw will affect conor mcgregor i don't really think conor mcgregor will be too bothered by it but it will still be a different look that he will have to deal with and like i said the body work will really play in masvidal's favor because of the fact that the fight can go five rounds with masvidal i really don't see him getting knocked out i think he has a tremendous chin i think he really plants himself fairly on like on his two feet also so i think it's pretty hard for him to get punched off balance he doesn't really do too much excessive of head movements only when he can see the opponent committing on the shots then he will start to move his head he doesn't do too much of that eddie alvarez like you know sideways bobbing and weaving and getting caught stuff he doesn't really do that all too much and because of that he's very conservative with his energy and he can go five rounds without a problem so i would have to say for hora masvidal if he can survive the first round he can survive the second round and if he can survive the second round i'm pretty certain that from there conor mcgregor or his his offense will become pretty repetitive and he will have to rely on a more patient um, game plan and the more patient he gets the better that really suits Jorge Masvidal we've seen against Nate Diaz in the first two rounds he was you know he was going in there trying to really knock him out cold he wasn't able to do that in the third round he got tired right so from there he started 
needed to pace himself and exactly at that pace that he fought Diaz in is perfect for Jorge Masvidal he can go five rounds without a problem at the at the exact same pace Connor really can't do that unless he isn't looking to knock the opponent out in the first round right so we have to keep that in mind at all times and also one thing that we can't really forget is the fact that Jorge Masvidal has tremendous timing of takedowns for example Donald Cerrone was also very good at this Cerrone instinctively he ducked McGregor's left hand and shot him for a takedown only problem was Conor McGregor was able to immediately stuff it right and Masvidal is also good at this um, he can do it a lot better offensively as well so I would have to say Conor McGregor should also not overload or you know completely forget about the takedown because offensively and defensively speaking Masvidal's takedown game is pretty strong also even like it's, it's pretty clear that he has great takedown defense as well but I don't really see Conor McGregor shooting for a takedown so that's kind of irrelevant but if he can get Conor McGregor down by timing a perfect left straight then shooting him for a takedown the ground game is very solid of Oriya Masvidal likewise for Conor McGregor but off of his back I don't really think Conor McGregor has shown too much you know that's obviously credited to him but we'll have to see if Jorge Masvidal can really drag it out onto Conor McGregor, put him down, drag him down, and really mix it all up. Because Jorge Masvidal is a very well-rounded fighter. He has tremendous elbows in the clinch. He's very hard to control in the clinch. He can take you down, he can keep you down, and he can really play a very patient game. And that's why I believe overall he's a very complete fighter anyway. So Conor McGregor, if he can take care of, like, let's just say, Jorge Masvidal striking, Masvidal still has other tools that he can rely on, right? He has, great, you know, great elbows as well um, from the stand-up he can do that as well very good in the clinch take you down keep you down so overall Masvidal is a very big threat and I would have to say what really will define where Masvidal's way to a victory is perseverance and durability I don't think he can knock out Conor McGregor early on in the fight if he can credit to him but I see a TKO happening late in the fight if he's gonna win so overall Masvidal is a very good fighter I think defense will be key against Conor McGregor and who better than Jorge Masvidal when it comes to defense right the guy is very hard to hit clean and if you can he has a great chin so overall very durable very tough and very well-rounded fighter and in the end i believe Jorge Masvidal and conor mcgregor will be a very terrific fight and hopefully it will be a fight that will happen in the near future because in the end only time will tell what will truly happen for now this was why Jorge Masvidal could defeat the notorious conor mcgregor Leave in the comment section down below who you guys think will win in this matchup. As always, I've been Keenan from Keenan KTV, signing off. Later.